Hey guys, Rob from LiveGPCTraining.com. And today we are going to go through the best practices for keyword match types and why it's so, so important that you don't botch this because <laughs> you could lose a lot of money really fast. All right, so if you're in your AdWords account, um, right now you can see we're looking at our XYZ Roofer example campaign. Ad group level, if you go into keywords, you can see the different match types we're using. So there's three match types that you want that you want to be using. It's just best practice. All right, they're exact match, phrase match, and modified broad match. What you want to be staying away from when you're getting started is just broad match keywords. So let's see what I'm talking about when I say that. So let's say for our example campaign, we come over to our keyword wrapper tool here. We use it's called AdWordsWrapper.com. It's created by Michael Wong. So we're going to come down here and let's say for our XYZ roofing campaign, we are adding keywords to the uh, Philadelphia roofers, whatever. So that's the ad group we're adding keywords into. And so this is a keyword we're going to drop in there. What we would do is we would take the keywords that we want to add to our ad group, we would paste them in here, we hit wrap keywords, and it's going to wrap them in all the different match types. So here's the three that we're going to be focusing on today because the rest are. Just don't worry about the rest right now. So this is modified broad match, okay? So it has pluses in front of each word in the keyword. Now what this is telling Google is, hey, I want you to show my ad when someone searches the word, the words keyword Philadelphia Roofers, what Philadelphia Roofers services, companies, whatever. As long as the the two words Philadelphia Roofers are included in that search query, I want you to show my ad. All right, so you're basically telling them anything that has the words. Philadelphia and roofers in the search query, you're okay to show my ads for. Now you have to be careful with uh, modified broad match because you can get a little out of control. It's better to use it on longer tail keywords than something short like this. But you know, as with everything in AdWords, it's all testing, so just make sure you test. Next is phrase match. And you can see here it has the quotes around the entire keyword. Now, phrase match is telling Google, hey, uh, I want you to show my ads when someone searches for Philadelphia roofers, but you can add a little more onto that. So something like, they, this want, they want, basically you're telling Google, this is the core you want around in this search query. So it could be Philadelphia roofers company, Philadelphia roofing company, I'm sorry, roofers companies. You know what I mean? It could be any kind of modifier they can add on to the end of it is what's going to phrase going to show for it. It's, it just kind of tightens it down, makes it more relevant. And then below that, we have exact match, which is brackets around the entire keyword. And you're telling Google, I just want to show for Philadelphia roofers whenever someone searches that. And open Google will show your ad for something, even if it's misspelled or something like that. But if it's very close, they're going to show your ad for it. It's just this is the, the tightest, tightest way you can, uh, most relevant, you can get your keywords to show for is exact match. But you have to be careful also. You don't just want to add a whole bunch of exact match only ad groups because your impressions are going to be low because you're only. You know what I mean? You have to. You, it's best to use all of them together, okay? And then from there, you you get your data, and then you assess your data, and you pause the losers, you increase the bids on the winners. So the match types play in it is huge, all right? And this is just broad match. It's just nothing. It's just filled off your roofers. And the reason you don't want to use this is because your ad will show when someone searches for a roofing shingle repair product, all right, or a ceiling stuff like that. It's just very very broad. And you're giving Google free reign, and they're going to use you as a guinea pig, and they're going to they're going to monetize all the crap keywords that no one wants to pay for or bid on. So that's why I just stay away from it. It's just the easiest way to waste a ton of money. Stick with modified broad phrase and exact, and you'll be okay. So basically, what we do is we would just come in here, we copy this, go into our AdWords, and go into our ad group for the Philadelphia roofers. Hit the plus sign here. We're just going to paste and we'll drop our keywords right in this ad group. That's it. So that's how the match types work. Just remember, guys exact match, phrase match, modified broad match. Just that's all you should be doing right now. Don't try and get crazy with broad match because you just end up wasting a lot of money. So if you have any questions about the keyword match types, drop them below this video. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Check out the links in the description. And I'll catch you guys in the Facebook group or in the next video.